This is Mamutasan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I will draw this rectangle. And this rectangular shape has a dimension of 76 by 74 unit. After that, I will extrude boss it to 10 unit. Okay. Then we can see in the this top surface we have this triangular shape. For drawing this triangular shape, I will first draw a semicircle or circular profile here. And this circular profile has a diameter uh, radius of 15 unit. Then we have two tangent line. One is from here and another is from here. Then I close the shape. Then I'll extrude boss. And this extrude boss. Uh, we don't have any dimension seen here so we are assuming this dimension will be 10 unit okay so let's do it and we can see we have same uh, shape in the in the lower portion so after drawing this upper portion i will mirror in the lower portion okay so i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it now select the center rectangle place the center rectangle here and now dimension it to 76 by 78 uh, 74 unit okay uh, select so smart dimension 74 unit okay now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now it should boss now it should boss it to 10 unit i'm going to reverse the direction now press ok after that select this upper face upper face now sketch now normal to it okay now select a circle here and draw a circle along this line okay and this circle has a radius of 15 units so the time it will be 15 multiplied by 2 30 unit after that select the smart dimension tool and this rectangle from this line to here it has a dimension of 43 unit okay it has a dimension of 43 unit if you want to see in this case it this this is the 43 unit dimension okay after that select the line tool and place the line tool here and draw a tangent line okay and again select the line tool and place in the another side and draw another tangent line okay all the tangent line has been drawn now select this line and now convert into this now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part now press ok in here we can see we have a circular extrude st cut of 10 diameter here so i am drawing drawing it so select a circle and place the circle here now dimension it to 10 diameter now i submit to it for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss now extrude boss it to 10 unit now reverse the direction now press ok so i will mirror this feature here for this i am selecting the uh, top plane okay now select the mirror option as i previously select the top plane it has been selected as the mirror face now what features i want to mirror so if from the tree i am selecting the boss extrude to and now press ok so this portion has been completely done after that, we in the in our main case, we can see that uh, we have a almost circular profile like here, and this circular profile has a diameter of 60 unit. But we can see we have a rectangular cut in upper portion and another rectangular part in lower portion. For that things, uh, first of all, I will draw a circular profile of 60 diameter. Okay. From that we can see the total limit is 52 unit distance so I'm then I'll draw a center line here after drawing the center line I'll offset a line here and offset another line here and then I will trim this extra portion okay let me demonstrate before that we can see that uh, in in our case we have another circular profile this one and this circular profile has a dimension of 42 unit and the final circular profile here this circular profile has a dimension of 17.5 unit and in here we can see we have a, a uh, cut cut here and this cut portion has a dimension of 64 unit 
and this portion has a dimension of one uh, 105 unit and you can see this finally portion this total portion uh, 145 minus 105 unit so the total portion has a dimension of 40 unit but this portion and this portion don't have dimension different uh, the dimension isn't here so i am assuming this dimension is 10 unit and this dimension will be 30 unit okay so let's select this face now sketch now normal to it now select the circle and place the circle here dimension it to 60 uh, 60 diameter okay after that select the center line here and place the center line and draw a center line here as our total limit is 52 unit so i will select the offset interest select this line so in each set it, the dimension will be 52 divided by 2 unit so i will select the bidirectional now press ok now select the trim option and in the trim option i will trim all the unnecessary part okay trimming all the unnecessary part now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now it should boss now it should boss it to 10 unit okay it should boss it to 10 unit now press ok so because we are extra bossing it to 10 unit because the total dimension here to here is 40 unit but this dimension is not given so and this dimension is not given so i am assuming this dimension is 10 unit and this dimension is 30 unit because the total dimension dimension is 140 unit minus 105 unit so it's it is given 40 unit okay now in the second portion we have a circular profile of 42 unit and this is a dimension we are assuming it has a dimension of 30 unit okay so i'm selecting this face again now sketch now normal to it now select the circle and place the circle here and now dimension it to 42 diameter circle now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now it's to boss now it's to boss it to 30 unit now press ok ok we have gotten the 30 unit dimension and uh, now select this face now sketch now normal to it now go to uh, circle tool again and this time the circle is uh, 7.5 radius so it will be 70 uh, 17.5 radius multiplied by 2 so it will be 35 unit now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and we can see this circular profile 70.5 unit circle has a dimension of 105 unit here so i'm going to features and it should boss it should boss it to 105 unit okay now press okay now we will do the this cut of portion and for doing this cut portion i will first of all i will convert this circular profile previous circular profile that is 17.5 unit for by using the convert entities then i will use a center line and from the center line i will draw a offset line here then i will trim this extra portion then i will use the stood cut of 64 unit okay now i am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now now select this circle okay now select the convert interest so we, this circle has been drawn automatically and uh, now select this uh, center line and draw a center line here to here after drawing this center line uh, go to offset entries and select this line and draw draw a offset of 7.5 unit after doing this so, so, uh, uncheck the bidirectional reverse the direction now press ok now isometric uh, now select the trim option and from the trim option trim all the uh, unnecessary part that we don't don't need okay uh, we have trimmed all the unnecessary part now isometric it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to 64 unit now press ok so and now in the end we have seen that we have some chamfer here but the dimension of chamfer isn't given here so i am selecting the chamfer option and i am selecting uh, dimension 2.5 you can select as you want uh, according to your case now selecting this face and now press ok so as you can see we have drawn out 3d case thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning
Be different.